Sullivan stays wide enough to the right, hits nothing. And I came up, finally got by him, came up along the inside, and Mario just, you know, he just turned. And we, if you look at it, we almost look like we're just in, you know, fighter planes in formation going down. Side by side, Sullivan has the lead. Danny Sullivan, oh, oh, no. and just at that moment, losing control of the car, doing a magnificent job of not hitting the wall and continuing in the race. Whatever it was, whether it was the white line, what they paint a lot, or, you know, the camber change, whatever, came back up, just tripped the car, got it moving just a little. Of course, you're not running hardly any wind, any downforce on these things anyway. Just started sliding, tried to correct it, and it started to bite at the front. Turned it back, lost the car, was, oh, you know, swearing, finally getting the lead of the Indianapolis 500. Going to hit the wall, not thinking, I'm, I'm mad, you know, because I just, what a dumb mistake, you know. And smoke cleared, and I was facing turn two sweep. The incredible move maybe ever in Indianapolis, and Mario didn't hit him. Danny spins, and I see just a big cloud, and uh, and I just made that decision to just go to the left, and it proved to be uh, the obvious correct one. Um, but, you know, it was not skill that uh, avoided that collision, uh, just a lot of luck. You know, he had to be very aware and on top of his game not to collect both of us, and uh, I'm glad he did. I'm sure he is, too. The new American hero is Daniel John Sullivan III of Louisville, Kentucky, who has won.